Welcome back to Let's Play Spyro 2, Ripto's Rage Reignited. I'm Burning Dog Face. And we're here in sunny, idyllic summer forest. For uh, two reasons. One is that I have noticed that gem just there, and I need to get my hands on it. I said gem, I meant orb. But on the other hand, I have noticed there are sparkles down here which indicate that there are somehow still gems I have not collected in this pool. So let's remedy that. What is the red I kept seeing just here? Must have been a seam error. Well, you know, I didn't think there would be a big door over here. In fact, I'm pretty confident I got a shout-out about this, now that I think about it. I stand corrected. That was actually about one in the Autumn Hills level. Autumn Hills, Autumn Plains, even. Alright, I am just doing a bit of a look around, do I? Yes, I was missing one! Oh, that's right, the stormy level! With the lightning men! Oh, that's right, it was the fucking factory, and then I walked away because it was, uh... Five stars, and I forgot it was for children. No. Ah, uh, yes, it was that over there. Although this time, quite a few more lives. We've always had trouble with the gear grinders, but now they've set up force fields to separate us. If you find diodes, you can use them to turn off the force fields. I think there's a diode around here somewhere, uh, but my eyesight isn't what it used to be. I'm not actually sure if these guys have eyes or not. Oh, look at that. Ah. Uh, I'll just look at the other side where it's not behind the map. I guess they have tiny little button eyes back there. So that is something the glasses are doing and not their faces. Okay. Oh, wow. I never saw that before, I think. The one of the giant ranchers making repairs to the robot and then send him on his way. Uh, that was weird. Well, what do you think of that? I'm not certain, but I think the robot was just doing a simplified version of the robot. <laughs> I did not notice they came in pairs the first time I went through this level. This part. 
Well, that was pretty much entirely unrelated to the actual run of the level, if I remember correctly. That. that was 16. Is 17 enough? I wasn't even paying attention. Oh, wow! I'm real close. There we go. With interest. Oh no, I don't actually need to be speedy to do that. Just pointing in the right direction. And there was one on the other side. Right, Factory Glide 1. Okay, yeah, yeah, that would do it. more just ahead of me. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Spiral, do you see that big building over there? No, not the really. You're not pointing or anything. are using it to steal our electricity. Please help us by shutting down the machinery inside. Hmm. Okay. I guess it must be that one, huh? I'm surprised if the theme of this level wasn't, like, smashing batteries to free the dudes inside. Oh. I don't remember where this one goes, but it's probably important. I don't know. Ahem. Oh, fuck. Well, oh, you guys are sturdier than you look. Yeah, I thought you were gonna be, like, imprisoned in little batteries, and they were going to be using you guys to power a big machine. Not even like a death ray or a cannon or anything particularly villainous, it's just like a vending machine or something dumb like that. If there was nothing over here, but I'm just going to check. done well so far. You could have this little trinket for good luck. If you have any questions about shutting down the factory, just ask me. What questions could he possibly have? The next glides get tricky. You'll have to use your hover maneuver to make them. Press the action button during a glide to hover and get extra height. They do uh, make a point, at least, of reminding you of the controls quite a lot, so... Remember to press the action button when you're very close to the windmill, or you won't make it. No, oh, wait, yeah, ask him. Remember to press the action button when... Right, okay, this is usual uh, information. This is the same information, you know, don't be afraid to ask me. Piss. Although I do seem to recall... Yes, good. Actually, I wanted to know. I noticed a thing while I was going over the footage from last time. And it's not really easy to tell here, but, um. 
They're forming like a ribbon shape, a twisted ribbon. Because there's always a dot directly across from another dot. Although when I was looking at the footage from the other day, it was on a, a, a darker background, and I realized that if I drew a, pa a line in between each pair of dots, so there was just a whole bunch of lines going through the middle of that uh, shape, it would be a bunch of sparkle DNA, and I don't know what to make of that. <laughs> They've just formed a helix out of sparkles. Organs. She didn't take any damage there. Well, my pride. Right, uh, that actually requires timing. I can't just barrel into it this time. Fire! Oh, hey, I didn't need the uh, the hover for that one. Oh, the footprints. Uh oh. Ocean doesn't get any less unpleasant to look at, huh? Harness the wind on my watch, will you? Alright. Uh. Well, that was better than the first fucking time. I'll give you that. Why, 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 why? What possible benefit was there screwing me over like that? I was kind of hoping there'd be a second set of sparkles. Okay. Okay, back up here. First attempt since that jump cut. Though I have noticed that the uh, orb does seem to be just on the other side of this, so... Spyro, help! The switch to turn off the gear grinder factory is in that room, but, um, it's awfully noisy in there. I mean, I don't like loud places either, so, uh... You know, don't, uh, sweat it. I'll take care of it. Hey. Nice! Whoa. It is awfully noisy in here. Thanks for shutting down the factory. Here, I found this stuck between the gears. You can have it if you want. Thank you. Nice. Thanks, Spike. Oh, no. I was not expecting to go straight over that platform, I have to admit it. That's embarrassing. These are the things I put the uh, the orbs on the other side of the level on. I guess they're just reusing the assets, which is fair. Now, 
no. No. Well, this is just silly. Fine, fine. I'll just go. I didn't reach the portal anyway. Oh, that's right. Yes, there was a thing at the end of that, wasn't there? Hmm. Yeah, okay. Here's another big old jump cut. Why didn't it write all the words? Huh. Those shock stick guys are tough. Yesterday, they turned Vern, our giant squid, into fried calamari. Okay, I skipped the part where I opened up the level to the outside, because I do seem to recall that is where I'm going. But now I have to sneeze. Ah, sorry about that. Let's see. Oh! Was directly above or below the uh, the mission. Oh no no! Is that one over there? Man, I don't know what the the dots on the map mean. I thought the one without the green in the middle was one I'd already gotten. But if it just marks the uh, the ones who have more than one to offer you as you know still green because you got the first one. Oh no, that's the blinking one. Okay. See, a while ago, I just thought that was because it was the closest one. So what the fuck is the difference between... I don't know. I don't know why that one is black, why that one is green, and why that one is both. See, it makes sense for it to be both, except... that... Yeah, that's the one I've already gotten, so it... I don't know. I don't even know what that third dot is. I realize it since all three of the orbs are from these two guys. Very confuzzling. Okay. I've been trying to tame my new pet manta ray, but he just won't obey me. Hey, you're just about the right size to ride on his back. Sorry about that. Great. Hop on his back and guide him through each of the bubble rings as they appear. And remember, he's brand new, so try not to get him dented or scratched up. I don't think that's how animals work, but I will do my best. Suppose I owe you something for that. Here, take, take this, this orb. orb. I picked it I from your pocket. One of my flip. <laughs> so you can't find your shoes. You don't know where your now scuba the gear is. Tamed, I'd love to get him into racing shape. Care to take him through a harder course? Actually, he's not wearing a, ra a uh, scuba gear. He's just wearing a diving suit. Now that I uh, look at him, there's no air tank or anything. He's just down here. I mean, you know, Spyro's visibly holding his breath, so maybe he's doing the Superman thing, where it's like, oh, it's fine for him to fly through space because Superman can canonically hold his breath for, like, five hours. But, uh, Hunter is talking and stuff. He's, like, he's definitely breathing down here. Sea cheetah. Sita, if you will. <laughs> okay, good luck. Curses! Pretty what? Okay. Yeah, there's some 
issues in this game with navigating around or into stuff at very close range. Pretty wild. Well, that doesn't seem to be a fail on purpose button. Okay. Talent. I could use a partner like you. You can have the orb I found in my other flipper, too. <laughs> okay, that's pretty good. I like that. It's the fairies just shoved uh, orbs into both of his flippers. I mean, next time, maybe just give that directly to the professor, but thanks. Bitchin'. Sorry, pal. I don't have any new jobs for you at the moment. Well, that will about do it in Aquaria Tower. Feels good to say. Feels good to look at this, too. So all that's left here is these three orbs and a handful of uh, gems. Nice. It's a fish. I remember you. You were one of the ones that the, uh, the idol did want. <laughs> uh, silly. I guess I'll just call it and see you guys on the next episode when we get to wherever it is we're going. I'm Burning Dog Face. And I'll see you next time on Let's Play Spyro 2, Ripto's Rage Reignited. Later.